This woman adopted a Filipino boy, 30 years later she found out the truth about his birth family. 38 years ago, a young child was placed in foster care after becoming lost in a busy Philippine market while trying to find his mother. He was fortunate enough to be adopted by a regular Australian couple and raised in a comfortable environment. But he had always wanted to be with his birth mother, from whom he had been mistakenly split up when he was five years old. A miracle happened 30 years later changing his life forever. What was the truth about his biological family that he discovered? And why were millions of people moved by Joel's story? Joel is now a successful man who earns a solid living and frequently appears on television shows. He has a successful company, is a well-known filmmaker, and is a master storyteller. His adventures during the last 30 years, meanwhile, were straight out of a movie. It is simply unthinkable what happened to this man. Joel, who was born in Quezon City, the Philippines, in 1985, was shocked to wake up at the young age of five and discover that his mother had already departed for work. Leaving the house on a quest to find his mother, the small boy didn't want her roommates to take care of him. Joel had no idea that this hunt would take 30 years to complete. He searched a crowded Manila street market for his mother. Joel had spent the entire day looking for his mother and was now lost. Manila, the capital of the Philippines, is undoubtedly one of the world's most populous cities. It was incredibly busy even in 1985, the year the incredible journey began. He had no idea where to go or what to do, and he was in, in desperate difficulty. Fortunately, he was noticed by a taxi driver. Before taking the youngster to the police, this decent man kept an eye on him for a bit. Joel was subsequently transferred to a detention facility as it was clear that the police station wasn't a suitable environment for a child as young as five to be hanging about. Despite the media promoting his name, no one ever showed up to claim him. He was thus put in an orphanage. After repeated media attempts to locate his parents via radio and newspaper pages, he was labeled as abandoned and became suitable for adoption. His life had completely changed, and he had a new name before he realized it. Since he couldn't reveal his given name to them, the officials were the ones who gave him the name Joel. Joel wondered what would happen to him during his days in the orphanage. He had been hoping and praying for his mother to discover him and come to his aid for a very long time. However, she never appeared to notice the news source that reported on the boy's disappearance. It appeared that the only way to provide this child a future was via adoption. A couple from Melbourne, Australia, was looking for an ED kid to adopt in September of 1986. Joel was the one Julie and George Dickachurit decided they wanted to take home with them after they came upon him during their quest. A few months later, the couple was able to take a plane to the Philippines and see their adopted son for the first time. They were with Joel for two weeks. Before agreeing to sign the adoption paperwork, they spent every moment getting to know him better and better. On December 8, 1986, Joel set out for Australia with his new adoptive parents. All of a sudden, he was shown everything amazing and novel that would soon become a regular part of his life. He was shown around their house, his room, broom, and even all of his toys by Julie and George. Joel also got to know his neighbors, who he immediately grew to like. Joel eventually blended in well with his new community. His English kept becoming better and he became an official citizen of Australia in October 1988. He began to take an interest in the arts by the time he was in high school. Acting, dancing, and singing were some of the ways he expressed himself. Joel was primarily focused on dancing as a form of expression throughout his early 20s. But he frequently recorded himself in an attempt to get better. This gradually turned into an actual passion for movies, which is where he truly discovered his calling. After all these years, his main passion is now filmmaking. Of course, Joel's horrific childhood experiences continued to affect him throughout the time he was growing as an artist and a person. Even in 2000, he and his Australian family took a trip back to his own country, which he never lost interest in. He could never really feel at peace with his history until he found out what had happened to his biological mother, even if this may have offered some closure in the short term. Joel's adoptive mother Julie was fully in favor of him when he discovered he had to track the woman who had given birth to him. But the hunt was not going to be simple. 
Joel had only hazy memories of his biological mother, and he didn't recall anything about her. It was conceivable that they never existed at all. But by 2016, he felt he needed to find out what had happened to his birth mother. Joel didn't even know his mother's name, despite the fact that the Philippines is home to almost 100 million people. How could he start looking for it? As a filmmaker, however, his thoughts strayed to the influence of the media. He got in touch with a group headed by one of the most well-known TV personalities in the Philippines, Jessica Soho. There was a section on Jessica Soho's TV show that asked for details regarding Joel's mother. A few days later, a picture of a little child in Herminia Rio was shared on the network. But whether she was his mother or not was a matter of debate. It was verified by the results of a DNA test. Joel had located his mother. Naturally, Joel and Herminia had extreme emotions upon hearing the news. Joel wasn't the only one who ran into Herminia. Julie, his adoptive mother, went to Manila as well to see the mother of the boy she had raised. The two ladies embraced, connecting over their shared love of Joel.